Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to see how we can make better phone mockups inside of Canva. So, if you are interested in knowing how to do this, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva and I know um, there are so many mockups in canva but some of these mockups sometimes i see them and honestly it doesn't really look that good to me so i just want to show you how when it comes to phone mockups how i get to do mine inside of canva so i just would come to create a new design and you can choose any um, dimension at all you want but i'm using the 1080 by 1080 and over here you can see i have included all the phone stuff i need so what you need is a screenshot of you know your um of anything you want to use for the mock-up and with this battery um design with this you can find it on google just search for iphone battery and you'd find a png and just download it okay with the phone what you can do is you can come to element and in element you can simply search for iphone so i okay p h o n e iphone and if you search with all the options you definitely get some so you can see there's one over here there's another one over here so you would um you know you can be able to find this but if you're on the free version of canva what you can do is you can visit cliparts.com and in cliparts.com you can also search for iphone and you will definitely also get you know something like this then you import it in canva and join me all right so let's get started i'll just duplicate this page here and i'll delete all of the things here okay and the first thing we would actually need is um to make it easier to see everything why not change the color okay um let me use a very interesting color let's say blue okay so i would first of all add my phone and i'll make it bigger okay let me also make it bigger okay so this is my phone so you you just have to adjust the size to you know in a way that um you want okay to the size that you want and after i do that i would um the next thing i would do is to add my screenshot and you can see my phone is an android phone so you can see the android button but we'll just forgo it for now and um, with the um, top over here you can see it has the status stuff you know with notifications and battery and wi-fi and all of that so because you know i don't want it to look so odd i would crop this part out okay so once i crop it out i now bring it on top and i increase the size okay so i wouldn't over increase it because i have a way out so i'll click on position and center it so just to make sure everything is centered correctly then i right click and send it to back you understand so make sure that um everything is you know is looking very good uh, you can see if i'm to zoom in more the blue part of our background is showing so i press ctrl and click to like get what's behind okay then i use my arrow key to drop it down a little bit so that i hide that and at the top you can see it's not completed so maybe i'll just crop it more to something like this and you know so this is how it's looking right now so now what i do is i would come for my battery stuff here okay then i would reduce the size okay but before i even add it here what i want to do is to add a shape okay so we would um we'll adjust the shape of this okay just adjust it beautifully okay so something like this and um we add it here and with everything we are adding just make sure that they are not coming out because you know the phone is curved and this um shape you know has a sharp corner if you do not take care it will be showing out you know it will be showing after you you've arranged everything so just make sure it's hiding you know much of it is hiding so that we do not make things um visible okay then we right click on this and send it to the back okay now if you are using the web version of canva this is going to be a bit tricky you need an extension to be able to pick colors from this um you know battery icon for iphone okay now if you're on the desktop version of canva or the desktop app it's going to be way easier for you okay so i would make it bigger okay now I'd click and adjust this in a way that 
you know would make it very interesting okay so this is what we have then with the shape we have behind i would sample colors from this and use it for this shape so i come to the color picker and this is because i'm using the desktop app of canva if you want to also use it there's a link in the description box below that would um help you download this on your desktop okay so i would use the color picker okay then i would just you know pick any color from here you understand then you know now everything is looking very clean and this we are doing this because we don't want it to be so obvious that you know this is a photo that is the shape and we just don't want things to look very different and the color may look a bit different you might see it but you know at the end of the day you know once we zoom out no one is really going to see that um that was made in canvas so you can see how this is looking very clean except maybe the fact that um the android icons are here but even with that until you take a closer look you may not even realize it and this would be also very good for anyone using um iphone when you take a screenshot and you bring it on here it will look very clean because iphone to iphone and maybe if you want to um if you're an android user and you want this to work you know so well for you what you can do is you can find an android phone from clip ads i don't know i haven't done the search on canva but on the clip as you can find the samsung phone and you know use the same process for it so you can see this is what we have been able to create inside of canva and i hope you found this helpful i hope you learned something new from here so let's say you want to move this around what you would have to do is you would have to select everything and group them okay so that in this case you can be able to move things around else because you have separate elements moving them around will be difficult grouping or like selecting all and moving them around but once you group everything it becomes easier to you know to just do anything at all you want to do to it so the name is benjamin thank you for watching to this point and don't forget to subscribe if you want some more canva tutorials always remember there is no limit to creativity and i would see you in my next video